Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and well, this person here standing on a rocky outcropping looking like a flying squirrel, well, he is a character, well, he's the focus of the game, Volo Airsport. I don't know, he doesn't have a name, but he's... Uh, this this game is essentially a, an early access title that simulates the sport of wingsuit flying, a hideously dangerous sport that uh, to even get allowed to even try it, you probably need something like 200 parachute jumps before you can even start to try jumping out of planes and stuff on uh, and looking like a flying squirrel. It is, um, yeah, it looks thrilling. There's a lot of amazing videos, and there is this game, Volo Airsport. I was obviously messing around with this in Kerbal Space Program, and I thought. I should give this a look. Now, the developers of this game are the same guys that are behind the Aurora Wager, a fun little game about trying to get to the North Pole. Uh, this is, as I said, early access. It uses the Unity graphics engine, or the Unix Unity game engine, pardon me. Uh, the physics are entirely simulated based upon the positions of the, the guy's arms and legs, and when you push the controls, what it does is adjusts the positions of the arms and legs. So here I am, trying to get this hoop here for terminal ferocity and missing terribly. Okay, well, uh, let's just continue down. See him spinning around here. Look how he moves his arms and legs. See that? It's kind of neat how that works. You get a little uh, heads-up display in the bottom. Two, almost 300 kilometers an hour, which is not uncommon for wingsuits, apparently. If you look uh, very carefully, you can see little green lines sticking up out of the various plates, those are force vectors. They're essentially showing you the aerodynamic forces. And I've turned around, I don't know where I'm going, I'm going over this ice field. Look at me go there, huh? Just uh, heading down without a care in the world, getting blinded by the sun, no doubt. There, we can zip across the surface here. Oh, that does look rather nice. The only problem is that this is early access and they haven't actually implemented a parachute. So, landing uh, is pretty much a, well, it's a turbo dismount or stair dismount kind of affair. But uh, yeah, you still can actually move after it. You can curl up in a ball and so I say, ow, my liver, my liver, ugh. Moving swiftly on with the emphasis on swiftness since uh, speed is what gives us lift in this situation, in this uh, wingsuit. So there are courses in the game you can try to fly through. You can of course build your own, but here we go, a flying start. This is much more fun. Okay, so look, you can see, even though it looks like I'm actually flying horizontally, I am actually progressing down the side of a mountain and because I was looking, I'm probably going to miss that first checkpoint. Okay, missed that. But never mind, let's get a little closer. Uh, you see I've turned on the route prediction here, and we are on course for this one. Great. No, one more. Just ease my way through this. I'm going to miss it, I'm going to miss it, I'm going to miss it. Oh, just missed it. Darn. Still, oh, don't hit the tree. Oh, okay, never mind. Down. Easy does it, easy does it, easy. Oh, nope, never mind. Yeah, I'm just... I'm not daring enough to get that low to the ground while traveling at 200 kilometers per hour. Okay, there we go. And missed that as well. Oh, don't hit the ground though. Don't hit the ground. Let's keep going. <laughs> I have to say the way he's animated makes crashing seems a lot more painful than it otherwise might be. There we go. Look at that. Just slipping down the side of the mountain. Using gravity to my advantage. Whoa! Through the treetop. Through that trees. Try not to hit a tree. Uh, unlike Kerbal Space Program, you can't actually hit the tree trunks. The branches aren't a problem, but the tree trunks are sorry. Yes. Oh, ow, 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 ow. There we go. Excellent. Ah, I'll need to try to do that again. I mean, of course, I can choose to do this again because this is a game. It's not reality. Here we go. Got to be careful on the initial descent there because you see the... You can actually just flare too hard and stall your wingsuit. There we go. Flying start through the hoop and just skipping over those rocks there. That is that is just looking scary. So yeah, wingsuit flying is a relatively young sport. Like, although people had previously experimented with it, it wasn't until like right at the end of the 90s 
darn missed that, that uh, a commercial wingsuit became available. I think it was Birdman were the first people to actually sell a commercial wingsuit. There we go. Uh, in fact, the first person, I believe, to have tried to fly with a wingsuit was an inventor. Oh, ow! Ow! The wings! The, the rings are solid! I thought they were just like some sort of things. Ow! 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 Just lay here for a second. Yeah, there was a, an, a guy that uh, invented the wingsuit and he jumped off the Eiffel Tower to prove that it worked and uh, left a crater basically in the ground apparently. Hit head first and it was filmed for posterity, yes, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, if you're inventing some sort of aerodynamic thing, then winds tunnel- Ow! No, 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 ow! Oh, 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 ow! Okay, yep, this is just going- This is just like stair dismount. Ah, yeah. You know, stair dismount, I don't know if you've seen it, it's like- Oh, wait, I'm just hanging there. There, like, kick myself off the side to keep myself going. So you can ball up as well if you wanna, you know, do some crazy stunt. Stair Dismount was originally a game that was created for a demo competition. Look at me hanging there. Uh, it was to see what you could do in something like 64k of memory. <laughs> Look at me go there. And uh, they created this game where you pushed somebody down a stair. And from that it ultimately turned into Turbo Dismount and its insanity. Ah yes, what game physics brings us. Well, I think, you know what, it's actually starting to get dark here, which is interesting. Oh, one of the cool things is the game does have a day-night cycle. There we go, through there. And now, get the next one. Yes! Excellent. Okay, now where's the next spot? Unfortunately, it is starting to get dark, and I have a little flashlight so I can see where I'm going, I guess. That's convenient. Okay, and through that one. Nice. Let's keep going. This, uh prediction, the, the tra trajectory prediction is actually quite useful. I think I'm gonna miss this. Oh! Yeah, into that. Bang, 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 bang. I think I might change that. I'm gonna turn that off. Once more into the breach! Or something like that. Okay, what one will we go for? We'll go for the, the trailer run. Come on. Just, 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 just totally missed it. Well, never mind. Let's try some fancy flying in the dark because flying down a mountainside in the dark on a wingsuit seems like a totally safe thing to do. Vague shadows are all that I can see in the darkness ahead of me. Of course, if it were winter, then I might see snow. So that might actually make it a little easier to see where I'm going, such as this bridge that. Ow! There we go. I like how it has altitude above ground, 0.3 meters. So yeah, in the, where is it? Options, we have time, well, first of all, we're gonna we get that time and weather. We can adjust um, a number of things here. We can skip night if we like, but we can also just adjust the time back. So we can go backwards to the middle of the day. There we go. So we now have cast some light on the situation, but we can also adjust the amount of days in a season, which, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, the basically... Oh, there we go. Uh, day length and minutes, I should make that longer. And while we're at it, yeah, adjust the day. Day July 25th. Okay, that should be slightly warmer, surely. I don't know. Let's, let's try it. There, look, it's day... Wait, I thought July 25th would be, you know, warmer, not colder. Surely... The planet Earth runs on seasons that are roughly 90 days long. You know, three months roughly. Okay, well, I guess, um, I don't know. But this seems to be a lot of snow for July 25th. Unless, of course, this is in the Southern Hemisphere, in which case it would make absolute sense. I don't think this is in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, let's see if I can hit this. No, I'm gonna miss it. No, no, gonna miss it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I got it. Oh yeah, now I am in the valley, performing the trench run. Oh, I love seeing the shadow just like hanging out there. As I said, it. Uh, <laughs> Peter Pan would have a, a a scary time because you wouldn't be able to tell how close you were to the ground. I know he has binocular vision, but just just in a game, I don't have binocular vision, right? 
Uh, speaking of which, this does actually work on Oculus Rift. It has Oculus Rift support, so if you want to do full-on VR, first-person wingsuit flying, you can, in fact, do that. Excellent! Oh, I, I actually completed a course! Now can I... Yeah, no, there we go. We crashed it and landed it. Whatever. <sighs> okay, starting from the highest point now. I can survey my entire domain from this vantage point. Unfortunately, this vantage point is going and it's going to miss the course. It is going to miss the course. I don't. I think the odds of me hitting these are pretty remote given my complete lack of skill. Yeah, I thought it would be really cool if you had a VR setup to have little motion sensors on your arms and feet and then track your arms and feet, lay down on a bench, wear a VR headset, track your hands and feet and try flying a simulated wingsuit. So yeah, any hardware, you know, controller hackers out there, I totally want to see this. Like, I, I will pimp that anything if you do it at GDC. I like how the sun is setting as well. I'm not, not sure this is even Earth, given how big that sun is, to be honest. This must be some other planet that has a sun that is far too large. But anyway, um, so yeah, one of the things the developers have posted recently, back in September, they talked about how to make multiplayer work on this, and it's actually a really, really interesting blog post because they talk about how Unity works and Unity physics engine and basically how it's very hard to integrate Unity physics and multiplayer. So they, they, I mean, they mentioned Rocket League, for example, that integrated bullet physics instead, which is another physics engine. But I think these guys, they're, they're going to do a similar thing. They're going to use uh, bullet physics and a much simpler physics model for flying everything so they can actually do multiplayer. It, it's a really interesting blog post. Now, that does imply the game is is still in active development, but this is an early access title, and you never uh, you never know just how many updates these things will get. Uh, meanwhile, uh, speaking of running out of time or something like that, it looks like we are running out of your know, slope. We are coming down, and that is a big chunk of mountains that will go up, and wingsuits tend to go up rather than going down. Well, let's just see if I can make it to these foothills. Well, I actually seem to be floating along quite nicely. Uh, 175 kilometers. That doesn't look like 175 kilometers per hour if you ask me. Uh, there we go. Bang. Head over heels, but a successful landing, only breaking his legs and curling up into a ball in pain. Ah. Uh... Once again, night is falling over the Alps or wherever this is. Okay, now I'm not going for this. You can see, interestingly enough, this is the edge of the map here, by the way. See that, how there's like a discontinuous ridge here, basically. The terrain just kind of drops off if I go over this. But interestingly enough, as you fly towards it, um, the, the camera just starts to go all weird. And the reason is... There is wind blowing inwards from the edge of the map, so I'm sitting here essentially floating and the, the wind is blowing me and keeping me in the air, so I have a simulated airspeed that just won't go away here. Uh, <laughs> it's very weird, I've never been able to soft land this thing. But look, I can appreciate the sunset while hanging in a mysterious mythical wind in, <laughs> in, this, uh, in this Alps or whatever. Okay. Let's try turning around again and see if I, seeing if I can actually bring it down carefully, right? Oh, I'm gonna fly towards this, get low. Oh, 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 there's the, there it is. Now, now let's see if I can keep it going. Look, yeah, I'm, I'm flying up again, like a kite. Uh, <laughs> it is, I, I'm flying like a kite, that's so funny. Oh yes, you game developer types with your interesting choices of gameplay mechanics and physics. Just look at me there, hanging, suspended in the air, exactly like bricks don't, or something like that. Yeah, I can flap my wings, look, flap, flap, nope, wait, wait a second, let's try doing it. See, flap, yes, I'm flapping like a bird, you see? I'm totally a pro at this. I literally am a bird man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fun. 
Well, moving swiftly on. Once again, with night falling, we need to reset the hour so that we can fly once more. Let's switch it to dawn. And yeah, let's try and find some greener days on the mountain so we can appreciate the grass. The grass is... actually, the grass is probably harder to land on. The, the snow is softer to land on. Under the right circumstances. Yeah, let... you know, let's adjust the days per season. No, one is a bad plan. I <laughs> like I'm flipping through this, it's just like a moduli. One seven to eight. There we go. A hundred. I think that's what it's supposed to be. There's only two seasons in a year in this world. There's basically the cold season, and there's the summer season. So August that looks a little more realistic, and then October we get snow coming in, and of course the sun, you know, rises later and everything. Let's look at that. Yeah, look, we can totally see the snow in the mountain. We can. Reset it back to September and August, the snow lines retreat. In July, it is a sweltering day, and then we go back to May and April, and it's spring again, and the snow is thawing, and we're in deep winter in July and January. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, uh, so you can pick the look. I, I don't think that it actually has any effect on the game at this time. Although, you know, you could argue that having different air temperatures would adjust the way air flows over things and stuff like that. You know, the air density could affect how you fall down the side of a mountain. Because this is really, it's not so much flying as it is falling with style. Okay, it is summer and I am aiming for the gauntlet. The gauntlet is a fun little one because it has a really narrow little course to get down. I'm just going to make it over this ridge. Just get it over there. Yes, excellent. Wow, got the first one. Okay, now the second one is high so you have to be careful you get through it and oh, just missed it, darn. Okay, a little bit lower. Gotta be very careful because, of course, if you go too low, there is the ground. If you go too high, you miss it. And I would rather miss it than hit the ground. You can just see the, the shadow there as I'm skimming through this. Oh, missed it. Still... Whoa, there we go! Ah, oh no! On the side! Oh dear! Oh, on the right! Oh, down! Down! No! 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 Come back! Come back! Come back! No! No! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, try once again. The gauntlet awaits, and I am going to be throwing it down. Uh, wait, I made that joke already, didn't I? That wasn't really a joke, more a comment. Just very Oh, getting a little low here. Just a little more altitude. No, no, ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh, wait, wait, get back control. Yes, yes, I totally pulled that off. No, no, just to get back into things. 180 kilometers. No, 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 ow. Darn. Okay, there is no escape for me this time. Well, anyway, uh, as you've seen, the the physics of this is <laughs> is quite interesting. Uh, of course, it isn't physiologically accurate because, well, you know, you get tired, and uh, when you break your legs, you don't tend to use them so well. But anyway, yeah, the game is Volo Air Sport. It's on Steam Early Access, <laughs> and. Hopefully they will continue to update it and it won't crash and burn or well I mean he didn't burn but I was gonna say like this pilot who crashed into the wall hopefully it will have better glide ratio or whatever a longer runway is what they say right you need enough of a runway to get up to speed so that you can continue come on yes got the gauntlet it's also worth checking out their other game, the the Aurora Wager. That's a fun little uh, flying-themed game as well, if, if you're into that. Uh, so yeah, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.